Erogaba in cutting the cake. For us to celebrate is 48th birthday. Chairman, the representative of the general. Hey, where are the fireworks? Fireworks, where? Okay, uh -huh. What a blessing. Uh, a beautiful event. Uh, RD series. Business people, all of you, and all the friends of Muhoz. First of all, I want to thank God for letting me live up to this day. And for taking me through everything he has taken me through in life. So I give God all the honor. I cannot thank everybody who turned up for this event enough. It has really touched my heart to know that so many people in Uganda recognize uh, the work that we have been doing all these years. Not only me, but me and my comrades in UPDF. I always say that uh, I know almost all the bushes in Uganda. I never have a holiday. I'm always working for Uganda. So it is, it's very, it touches my heart when I see that Ugandans recognize that. The first reason I thought it was good to have a function like this and other functions because this is not the only, the only function. Ugandans are celebrating everywhere, in universities, in villages, in towns. Millions of Ugandans are celebrating uh, MK48. But one of uh, the reasons I Normally, I like private things. But this time, I thought there were two main reasons why we need to all celebrate together and thank God together. The first one, as you all know, our country and the rest of the world has been going through a terrible pandemic, COVID-19. And here, we were in lockdown. I think it was the longest lockdown in the world, two years plus. So, we all suffered as Ugandans in different ways. But thank God, God saved us. We did not lose as many people as other countries. And we thank all our medical professionals for the great work they did in vaccinating us, educating us, 
and keeping us healthy. So I thought, but now the, the rates have come down. The positivity rates have come way down. And even hospitalization and so forth has come down. So God is healing Uganda of COVID-19. And I thought it was important that we all come here and thank him for that. Secondly, as a country again, we were experiencing some bad relations with one of our closest neighbors, one of actually one of the closest brotherly countries, which is Rwanda. You remember the border was closed for three years and people at the border were suffering. No trade, no money, no business. But more than that, people were suffering because they were not able to go and visit their families and friends across the border. So this was a big problem. But we thank God, God has also solved that problem. Our relations are good and they are going to get even better. I'm very confident. So we thank that God for these gifts. And that's why I thought we should come out and celebrate. What this, uh, this whole MK48 movement has, I think is probably teaching Ugandans is that there is a very, very strong and vibrant youth movement in this country. Actually, I think it is the strongest force in Uganda right now. It is imperative that all of us in uh, government, any position of leadership, recognize this and start uh, solving the problems of the youth and looking into their interests. All they need is serious attention. What I know about youth, since I'm very close to them, is that youth like two things mainly. Sports and entertainment. We need to invest in sports facilities in this country. Because the youth have too much energy. So if you leave them idle, they become a problem. Let's invest, in, uh, let's invest in sports uh, facilities. Let's rehabilitate our football stadiums. Let us uh, expand. Let us expand and really give the youth what they want. Let's invest in uh, music, music industry, in film, all the arts will, will, will be a long way in solving. And there's no mystery to it. It's quite 
simple to, to solve. Um, I don't want to talk a lot. Uh, we have more functions. Tomorrow we have VIPs flying in for, for the next functions. But I cannot leave this place without thanking uh, team chairman who organized this whole event. I would like, uh, I know I've taken pictures with you already, but I want you to come back here, team chairman, so that I thank you in front of these people.